In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I would recommend that you defend the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you want to get better at this game, we release videos every single day that can help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you want to get access to all of that stuff, uh, you can subscribe to the channel completely for free and get access to that. Now, really quickly, I wanna, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about the defensive guide. So we're gonna be breaking down a defense today from the nickel 335 and 335 wide out of the 46 playbook. The 46 defensive playbook is the best playbook in the entire game. And the 335 wide defense has been the best defense all year and will continue to be the best defense uh, into the Madden 22 season. And so I actually wrote an entire defensive guide that breaks down exactly how I play match defense, zone drop defense, man defense, run defense, and how I blitz at a very high level and get pressure on the quarterback. And so if you want to get access to all of that material that can teach you how to be a masterful defensive player in this game, it's a one-time fee of just $15. For just $15, you can get the entire defensive guide, and I would highly recommend it to you. So if you haven't gotten it yet, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Okay, guys, so how we're going to defend the gun bunch, the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that our coaching adjustments are as follows. We want our auto flip to be on. We want auto alignment to be set to default. We want our ball in our defense to play ball. We want our option defense to be on conservative. We want our zone drops. This is very important. We want our flats on 30 yards. We want our curl flats on 10 yards. And we want our hook curls on five yards. This is the best zone drop defense, in my personal opinion, in the entire game. Now, if they're throwing a lot of flats on you, you might want to drop these down to five or even zero, but I would start the game with these and then adjust accordingly as you kind of start to see what they're attacking. Now, in our audibles, we're going to set, and as you see here, I'm going to hit left trigger. It's going to allow me to bring up the audibles. I'm going to hit L1, and that's going to allow me to replace this. So I'm going to make sure I have the cover four show two as an audible and the mic blitz three as an audible. The third thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that I have the best personnel I could possibly have, which is why the Packers are so good, because they have so many fast safeties. I've In the 3-3-5, I've subbed in a safety at every linebacker position. I've subbed in two linebackers at the defensive end position, and then I've got Kenny Clark at nose tackle. And the reason this is important is because linebackers don't really play pass coverage as well as safeties do. Um, in my opinion, linebackers don't even play run defense as well as safeties do, but it's my advice to come out in 335 and audible down. That's really the hallmark of the defense this year, in my opinion. And it's just very, very effective way to play. So now that we have all of that set up, let's get onto the field and talk about some adjustments. So what I like to do whenever I defend bunch tight end is you start with having to ask the question, you know, what is the things, what are the things that they're gonna do that's gonna really cause me the most amount of problems? And um, what I like to do is I like to just head on down to the mic blitz three, just like this right here. And then I'm gonna to start to adjust my defense. The first thing I like to do for run defense is I like to shift my defensive line to the right, and I'm gonna kind of stand like right here with my user. Okay, normally my user is gonna be kind of like right in here. This way, if they run something like an inside zone, I can kind of get in there. I didn't do a good job of it right there, but I can kind of get in there and just muddy up the run. I can make it difficult for them to run. Uh, every formation has a little bit of a different way in which you want to shoot it, but as a general rule, you kind of want to do basically what I just did right there. And as you can see, we're able to shut down one of the better runs in the entire game. So we've got our run defense set up with just a very simple shift of the defensive line. And now it's time to start adjusting for pass defense. And so the way that I like to do that is I can basically adjust everybody on the defense except for these two guys. These two guys are critical to run defense, so I don't adjust them at all. And then the rest of the players, I'll adjust like crazy. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna talk a little bit about the delay fade. In my personal opinion, the best way to stop a delay fade is to put your defensive lineman into a bluff blitz, the defensive lineman that is over the top of him, put him into a bluff blitz, and then you wanna make sure that you're pass committing. What you're gonna see here is he's gonna drop right into the middle of the zone, and once I try to run that delay fade, you see that he's gonna sit right on the delay fade, just like that, just like we want him to. So that's kind of my first recommendation. Shift your defensive line to the right, crash your defensive line out, put your user kind of right here, and put that defensive end on a bluff blitz. 
From there, um, there's a lot of different things in which you can do. And what I'm going to recommend to most people is this specific type of defensive style. I think this is the best way to defend a uh, bunch tight end. So here you go. Here's what I would recommend. The first thing I would do is I would go ahead and I would shade my coverage down and then I would shade my coverage up just like this right here. And then what I would do is I would take both of my linebackers, both of my linebackers, and I would put them on uh, seam flats, just like this right here. You see, this is the defense that we want to start with. Then the last thing that I would do is I would create the right side. I would turn the right side into a cover two. So I would put my corner on the right side. I would put him into a cloud flat. And then my safety on the right side, I would put him into a deep half, just like this right here. As you can see, this is the basic defense at which I'm going to start with. And then from that point, what I'm going to do on this left side is I'm going to create a cover uh, four. So I'm going to put my outside corner into a outside quarter, and I'm going to put my inside uh, safety there into an inside quarter. Now, this is really, really important to understand. This is how I will run if they motion anybody to the right. If they don't motion anybody to the right, then I'm typically going to put this guy right here, Jackson, on an inside quarter. As you can see, this defense right here is very simple, but it's very powerful because what's going to happen is there's not really a good route that can get over these two zones together. When ran together out of this, what people are going to try to do is they're going to run PA boot over, right? But because we've put our zone drops at 30 yards, that crossing route can't get over the top of him. And so that you'll see that that inside quarter will basically come onto the, onto the post route. Obviously, he made a great catch right there, but that's really the starting point. The reason why we do this, and the reason why we do it exactly like that, now you can do this from Mike with three or cover four show two. Cover four show two probably has a little bit more of it done for you. Um, as you can see right here, I mean, pretty much everything is done for me. You see this right here? This is, this is what we're trying to create. I mean, this is what we're trying to create, okay? Um, but anyways, if we, if we take a look at this uh, post route from PA boot over, this is a route that's very likely that they're going to try to run on you. But the beauty of this is that the matching principles of the cover four, the inside quarters, they're not going to allow that to happen. Even if, and this is something that's very popular from people, this is why I like this more than I like it. This is why I recommend doing this. Um, as opposed to using a deep half. So when they motion somebody over, I 100% recommend using a deep half. But before they do that, do not do that, okay? So and the reason why is this. They're gonna try to do something like this right here. Uh, almost guarantee you they're just gonna basically try to run all the routes off on the left and try to basically glitch out the deep half. But as you see the quarter coverage, you see how they smartly match onto it and they take it away. This is why I love this defense so much. So then when we shift and we go to this cover four show two, another thing that is very likely to happen, especially if they want to, um, especially if they start to notice, you know, and they kind of pick up on what you're doing. This is very, very common and this is probably going to happen. So they're going to sit like this right here and they're going to just say, okay, I'm just going to run something like this, right? A little bit of a vertical concept. And I'm just trying to get this triangle receiver or the square receiver over the top of the cloud. As you can see right there, he does get over the top of the cloud. Um, in a pretty unique way, but that's the only route from that formation that can do that. And so all you have to do is number one, there's a couple different options, but the first option that you can have um, is you can just use that as a user. So you can just defend that with your user and, and try to make a play on it. The second thing that you can do is when you notice that they're doing this little motion right here, right? You're gonna have a little bit of a second, just put them in a deep half. Just put that deep half out there and what you're going to see is your job is going to be kind of run up in this area and as you can see right here because they're on the short side it's just not a good look for the offense and not going to be able to consistently be able to hit that read that's why i like this so the in, in a nutshell what you're doing here is you're going to that cover four show two or you can do it from mike blitz three two it doesn't really matter okay you can do it from either one but if they don't motion anybody this right here is your defense if they motion somebody to the right, just quickly put that guy in a deep half. That's gonna protect you in case they're doing any like four vertical concepts. And as you can see right here, you're gonna be able to stop the crosser. You're actually gonna get some pretty good pressure as well on your opponent, and you're gonna be able to lock them up. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my complete 335 wide defensive system, my defensive guide, the exact defense that I use to win almost 90% of the games of Madden that I play, you can get that in the description for just 15 bucks. It's the best defense in the game, and it's been the best defense in the game all season long. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to get that defensive guide, I've left a link in that in the description. You can head down to the description and get it for just 15 bucks.